Cheese it encrusted chicken tenders. Please enjoy this step-by-step walkthrough of how to create Billy Wobo's cheese it encrusted chicken tenders. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Here's my chicken tenders. Here's my egg wash. Here's my cheese its and Planko crumbs. Panko, 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 panko. Here's my flour. Here's my plate they're gonna go on. Now, be tricky to do with one hand, but I'm going to try. Okay, here, we're gonna take a tender, and I wanna show you something. Okay, here's, here's, here's the cheese that's in a jar of M&M's, of course. Okay, so, see my hands are covered in the stuff. Um, there's the egg wash. Okay, now, lightly into the flour. The flour just needs to be a dusting, like everybody on the YouTube says, okay? Okay, now, here is a trick I learned, which makes total sense. <laughs> If you do not push your Cheez-Its and Panko breadcrumbs onto your tendies, they will not stay. See how this one's having a hard time? Okay, I'm way too close. Okay. So now I'm gonna pull this guy out of here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna support it now. I don't know about you, but that's making me hungry. <laughs> Okay, here's another update, okay? If you if you are an amateur like me and you let your Cheez-It panko, panko breadcrumb mix get wet, it will not be good, okay? That's what happens, because you can't get it to stick. But boy, those look good. Now, since I didn't have a spritzer for olive oil, I just kind of drizzled it over the top I'm sure that won't be anywhere near as effective, but this is just my first attempt. These will probably become something I eat every couple days. Okay, now, what everybody who's cool on YouTube does is they take them like this carefully, and they put them upside down in the, in the air fryer. Oh my God. Okay. Just, just the texture alone Put them upside down. Okay. Yeah. Now, what do you think? Can we get one more in there? Yeah. Okay, see how that one's lacking a lot of breading? We'll just put all this in there just for just for health. Just health reasons. Wow, you're probably gonna get dizzy watching this, but you're gonna be so hungry and drooling that all the dizziness will go away. There's, there's Rue trying to figure out if he gets to eat some. All right, now we're gonna drizzle them with olive oil on the backside and cook them up. Okay, here's the air fryer. Now, I found with the air fryer, which is not correct at all, basically if you turn any of these knobs, it'll just always do the same thing, which is just put a bunch of hot air spinning around the food. So we're gonna go 400, because it says on the top, um, middle-aged guy chicken tendies 400 and then we're gonna go um, let's see we'll go five minutes everybody says um, flip them at eight so we're gonna go eight minutes but you have to plug it in okay you definitely need to plug it in if you don't plug it in you won't have any heat okay so Okay, it's at eight minutes, I'll let you know. I wanted to let you know also, this makes no sense, but I added garlic powder, crushed red pepper, and ground red pepper to my breading mix because those were the three things that seemed tasty when I opened up the spice drawer. So that's what I added. Okay, this is after nine minutes <clears throat> at 400 degrees. It smells like the best fried chicken restaurant you've ever been in in your entire life. But we need 165 in the middle, as you all know. So we're gonna do this. Probably gonna give them another five minutes just for good measure, but here's what I'm realizing. The Cheez-Its are getting toasted, as in extra toasty. Um, yummity yum, yummity yum, 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 yum. I'll let check back with you. Now I'm going to open this drawer and things, your life will change a little.
Okay, here's my tendies. Okay. Now that's hard to believe. Yes, they, yep. Okay, I want to get some tongs. Okay. Now, this is the biggest one. I have some other ones left over there. Okay, I'm going to pull this one out. I mean... <laughs> It's a little toasty, but I think I think we want to err on the side of toasty. Okay, that's a yeah. Here we go. Okay, cutting with one hand. Can you see that? Yeah, it's it's yeah. Okay. So so it worked. Now I'm gonna try it. Gonna be hotter than heck. Now, if you are not a professional chef, this is all you have to have to look like a professional. These little tiny bowls. If you have these, people people think you went to culinary school. I mean, that's that's what I found. Okay, ready? Look at that. Get the fuck out of here. Buffalo sauce. <coughs> wow. Um. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, that took me maybe 15 minutes to make these. Oh my god. Okay, so here's a couple things that I'm that I'm learning as I eat them. The the best part about them is that the cheesiness of the Cheez-Its comes through. I mean, we probably could have gone even more Cheez-It. Now I'm thinking about all the Cheez-It flavors. <sighs> it's just really, it's just a lot. It's just a lot to deal with. Then your dog will know what has happened and will need those tendies. Right, well, 